kind of a different video today. I am talking about hair and that feels kind of funny for me to say because a lot of times I am just going on a road ride or a gravel ride and I throw it in a braid or I am just busy with life and I'm throwing it in a bun. So I don't worry too much about my hair or helmet hair or whatever because I have curly hair and maybe it's a little bit more forgiving because even if I drove in a car, my hair would still look like this. So whatever. But today I was wearing my hair down and I was thinking about a way to leave it down all day. So I figured I would do a video about how I do that. So hope it's helpful or entertaining. So like I said, I wore my hair down today and I have a Zoom call later after work. So I'm trying to preserve whatever hairstyle I have left by this point. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a silk scrunchie and I'm going to loop my hair really loosely in the back of my neck. And that is just to corral it kind of out of the way for the next step. And so now that it's contained, I can take a buff and I can very gently swoop my hair up in it. So I put it on as if I'm putting on a headband. I put it really loosely over the top of my head and then I'm just gonna tuck that mass of hair into the back of the buff. This is not the most elegant thing in the world, but I find that it works for me. The next step is totally optional. I always use a cycling cap. I like having a visor and I like to make sure that the top of my head is totally covered so that it doesn't snag in my helmet. And I will talk more about this helmet later. It is a really cool prototype for a 3D printed helmet. That is a whole other can of worms. So suffice it to say, I put my helmet on top and my hair is tucked away in the back without being too, too squished. Also, I used a bright green buff, but you could definitely do black or brown or something that blends in a little bit better. I just happened to grab a green one this morning. I'm also wearing a very warm winter coat and Gore-Tex gloves because it was 30 degrees this morning when I went to work and it's warmed up to 45 now. So this is definitely overkill, but my commute is 20 minutes, so it won't be too bad. I also really hate being cold, so for short commute trips in the winter, I do bundle up a lot, and people think I'm weird, but oh well. In fact, when I go home this direction, I'm pretty sure it only takes 15 minutes, so I didn't even bother tucking my earrings into my pocket or anything like that. I just rode on home. So before I know it, I get back home, and this is kind of my end of the day routine. I'm trying to get better about maybe checking out my bike, doing things like oiling my chain when I get home. So that is a work in progress. And as I've mentioned before, I will do a whole tour of this front bike room because I've pretty much got it set up the way I want it now. Um, but it's great for getting in, peeling off layers. And let's see how I did with my hair. It's still all tucked away in this buff. So I basically just gently peel it off, unloop that really loose scrunchie, and fluff my hair back out. So that successfully did not make a dent that will last, and I can just kind of spritz my hair or tuck part of it back, and I'm good to go. So that is what I did today. If you have any ideas, suggestions, questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you have short hair or do not have hair, then this was probably not very interesting to watch. So double thank you to you for watching. And you have now arrived at the end of the video where I have more video footage than things to say. So you will just watch me walk back to my bike and get my laptop out of my pannier so that I can get on another Zoom call that should have been an email because it's 2022. And then just like that, I went over. Okay, bye.